You're such an asshole. All right, we got a clarity test request. You have a clarity test request. You can always go to assholeconsulting.com. And, and this came from um, Django, on, uh, on Django Geek. He's a regular uh, <clears throat> contributor to the Super Chats. And, and then he had he had this long-ass economic theory about, well, couldn't we just print off money? And he was worried about what the different Federal Reserve or central banking tools with you know, reserve requirements and open market operations. And it, could we control it so we don't have a tax rigor? Like, yeah, I guess you could, I guess. But I don't want to think about it. <laughs> I wasn't paid enough when I was an economist. And I, that's something like, right? Like, yeah, it sounds like a lot of work. That would have to, I'd have to try. I'm wondering if Django is the same as Arcady sending me these, these not, not puff pie ones. I said, I just don't have the energy. So he then just wanted me to do a, <clears throat> a Clary test um, on, uh, where'd he go? No problem. Oh, Clary test on Warren Mosler. All right, so I looked up Warren Moser. Did I get the right guy? Yeah, Warren Moser. All right, so here we go. We got Warren Moser. Let me pull him up. And, uh, all right, Warren Moser, born 1949, is an American economist, hedge fund manager, politician, and entrepreneur. He's a co founder of the Center for Full Employment and Price Stability at the University of Missouri City, Kansas. How would you like to hang out and rock and party with that guy, huh? That sounds like a group of people. The Center for Full Employment and Price Stability. <laughs> How boring and Keynesian. And the founder of Mosler Automotive. All right. Uh, he's a proponent and research financier of post-Keynesian modern monetary theory. He was awarded an honorary doctorate by Franklin. I don't care about your honorary visiting professor. What? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> independent or multiple of you know, the delegate to Congress three times. Lieutenant Governor. Okay, so he's got some political uh, ambitions there. Uh, all right. What? I got to uh, hang on. Moser Automotive. I got to see that. Because if, if he's just selling cars, American sports car manufactured. Have, okay. He's he's not. He's a real guy. Got real work. Real private sector experience. Got to hand it to him there. All right. So it looks like an American sports car manufacturer. All right. Not bad. <clears throat> Uh, all right, let's just get into that. Then. Early life, majored in economics. All right, he is young enough. Um, I'm, well, 49, that is boomer. Hey, a degree was a good degree. I'm, I'm going to award him half a point, <clears throat> or not award, penalize, because you want a low score. You don't want points. I'm going to give him half a point because economics just isn't a real, it isn't. Back then in the day, sure, but it's, it's not a real study. Uh, after graduating, from college, he initiated, initially went to work for the Savings Bank of Manchester in 1973. Next, he went on to work at Hartford for Bash and Company before moving to New York City. From there, he would go work on Wall Street, specifically Bankers Truck, New York City, and William Blair in Chicago. All right, so he has real-world working experience. <clears throat> hedge fund career, 82, founded a hedge fund, Illinois Income Investors, has an entrepreneurial streak, mortgage-backed security. Had fun informed by his developed theories after his departure in 1997. Former business lost money when several dealers used to make payments on credit funds in Russian debt. Oh, you got caught in the Russian. <laughs> oh, this goes back to the 90s. This is old school. Uh, exchange rate Russia at the time. Uh, transition to academia. Excited. Okay, now here, here's why I'm not going to fault him for going into academia. The guy has real working experience. Decades. He's not like a politician. They just dip their toe in a law firm. Well, I'm going to run for DA because my daddy's rich and he's the lieutenant governor. Uh, excited to share his various economic theories. Warren met economist author Laffer through a referral of Donald Rumsfeld at a meeting of social policy in New York City. William Vickery suggested Warren seek out post-Kinsian economists. Randall... Ray, Bill Mitchell, and Stephanie Kelton. You guys hear about them? Neither did I. Shows you how exciting it is to be an economist. You know who the world's most fi famous is? It's like ones that speak their mind and aren't Marxist leftists. You know, your Walter E. Williams, your Thomas Sawells, and Milton Friedman's, the Mies. The Mies. <clears throat> Jeffrey Tucker, speaking of Mises. <laughs> Uh, 
This post Keynesian economist had been familiar with chartalism and recognized the validity of Mosler's analysis. Laffer also had has staff economist Mark McNary who provided editorial research. <sighs> oh, so boring. Uh, academic work. <clears throat> He's known for his writings on modern monetary theory and economic theory that describes we can just print off all the money in the world. Oh, okay. oh bad economist. A uh, theory that describes the way fiat money is created and used in modern economies. And unorthodox views have gained a substantial following among participants in the internet discussion groups, academics. Buddha Buddha Boo wrote a book. Um, all right, what I like, okay, so he did not, he worked within academia, but he didn't get his doctorate. He just works. I like it, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Mulzer's law, no financial crisis is so deep that a sufficiently large fiscal adjustment cannot deal with it. Yeah, he just caused inflation later on. He stated that a recent recession could have been alleviated much quicker from a full payroll tax holiday that suspended FICA taxes or massive government spending increases, depending on ones. Isn't that exactly what they did? And it took a long time, it took over two Obama administrations for it to get back to normal. All right. <clears throat> Confident inflation is a non-factor is given. I, I would disagree with him, but I don't, I don't, uh, you know, tell, tell, inf tell people, tell millennials that housing inflation and rent inflation is not a factor because we made now you never mind. You guys know my, not my theory, but my facts that money printer went burn. Where did the money end up? There's no inflation. Look at the price of price of milk. It's the same. <laughs> What do you mean $300 per credit intuition? Uh, I don't care about his views. Uh, then he started a company. He's he's an interesting fellow. He went off to the Virgin Islands to do a little bit of work, government work down there. I, 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 so, all right. So, so far, uh, he's still working. <clears throat> so he, the only real thing is he has, oh, hell, uh, does he come from wealth? Early life. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm. It, there's no mention of his folks here. Uh, probably because everyone focuses on his academics and his, his economics. Um, I'm going to assume he didn't come from wealth. Uh, only because he ended up going and working for a little community bank or a local bank. He didn't like. And then he started at Goldman Sachs because his father... Herman von Winkelstein uh, was his uncle, you know. So he just started and he worked his way up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say he didn't come from wealth. He has half a worthless degree, so he gets a half a point for that. Work Real world working ex experience, private sector, started a company, and he's still working today. So he gets a point five. That's a great score. Would I have a beer with him? Hell yes. Would I want him to run for office? Well, <laughs> we could make money printer go burr. <laughs> you could run. Uh, well, all right, let's put it this way. You'd have a much stronger economic mind than any politician we've had, any president we've had. Good Lord, maybe Reagan. Maybe Reagan. The last solid economic mind we had, he was just common sense. Um, yes, I mean, he could, he could run. I don't know if I'd vote for him because it's just all the economists and they're, oh, let's just print off more money. Yeah, it worked. That worked in Venezuela and the Weimar Republic and Yugoslavia and the Roman Empire and the Byzantium Empire and every other empire of the deep East. That worked. <clears throat> don't listen to Cappy. All right, there you go. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles. Thank you.